In this video, I'll be talking about body shaming and fat shaming and six ways we can stop abusing and body shaming our own selves. Hi, I'm Linda Poirier and welcome to Bodies After Babies, where I help mummies of all ages fit into their genes, get their sexy back and find a life of happy. So what exactly is body shaming? Body shaming is negative comments towards a person, whether they are overweight or skinny, it's something negative they say towards the other person and making them feel like crap. We've all seen it in one form or another and even experienced it ourselves. But in this video, I'm going to talk about ways to stop doing it to ourselves. We do it more than we realize and it can even prevent us from losing weight and being happy with ourselves. Have you ever said, oh, I hate how I look. I can't stand to look in the mirror. I hate my stretch marks. I, I hate my stomach or any of those things. Welcome ladies to the body shaming world. I've been there myself. It's even prevented me for two months to lose weight, even though I was actively trying. Our minds are a really powerful thing. I kept telling myself how fat I was. I can't lose weight. I'll never be able to lose weight. And so what I was putting out there was what I was getting. When you flip that switch and stop with those negative comments towards yourself and switch them for the good things, then really good things start to happen. Here are the six ways to stop putting yourself down. Number one, start paying attention to what we are saying to ourselves. It starts with awareness. What are we saying during the day? What are we saying when we look in the mirror? What are we saying to others about ourselves? Notice, don't judge. Just notice the things you say. Don't beat yourself up for it because that's going to be another whole menu of body shaming, but just notice that you are saying it. When I first started taking a look at what I was saying, I was actually surprised how much I was saying that to myself and you don't even realize it. So really just pay attention. Don't, don't hurt yourself about it. You know, don't beat yourself up about it. We go, huh, you know, that's really interesting that I'm saying those things to myself. So number two is write what you say down. So, you know, this morning I looked in the mirror and immediately thought, oh, I can't stand my stomach, write it down. And over time, you'll be able to look at that pattern of when you're doing it, what is it over and just in having that awareness. Number three is replace the word with something positive. For example, I was saying to myself, oh, I, I'm never going to get down. I'm never going to lose weight. And so what I started doing was saying to myself, I lose weight quickly and easily. Now at first you're going to feel like, well, that feels like a bunch of BS. And, and to be honest, it, it does feel like that in the beginning. But if you switch that thinking and you start saying it to yourself, you're going to start believing it. And let me give you another example. If you are looking at your stretch marks and that's all you see, well, maybe your belly button looks fantastic. So there are other people, their belly button doesn't look fantastic. So look at yourself and say, you know what? Like, I think my belly button's fantastic. Don't concentrate on the negative stuff and things you start to appreciate will come and you will feel better about yourself and you're not slamming yourself each day or all day in how you look. Does that make sense? And then what I want you to do is practice that replacer word. So every single day when you catch yourself saying something, replacing it, keep going and trying, you know, to switch that each time. It might take some time. You might not even notice. Like I said, it's that awareness, but keep replacing those. And within time that will become a new habit. Number five is accept compliments and don't deflect. If you are going to get a compliment or if you do get a compliment, simply say thank you. I know it's hard when we feel not very good about ourselves and we get a compliment. It kind of feels a little uneasy, uncomfortable. But if that person's really making a genuine comment, take that comment and really appreciate it. And they are saying it because they're authentically saying it and they're paying you a compliment. Now on the flip side, give a compliment. I, when I go out and I see a woman wear an incredible, you know, pair of shoes, for example, I'll say, oh my gosh, I love your shoes. And the looks, you guys, it's an authentic compliment. The looks from these women who look at me and go like, what did she just say to me? Uh oh, thank you. Like they can't, 
They can't believe I'm paying them a compliment or somebody is paying them a compliment and they don't even know how to take it. So it's, it's, it's both sides to it. Learn to accept that compliment because you are beautiful. It doesn't matter if you need to lose weight or not. You are a beautiful soul. And this other person walking around or anybody walking around, if you genuinely think something, say it. Tell them. They might not have had a compliment in years. And that makes them feel really, really good. So that's, you know, one of the action steps that I want you to do is this week is to Take what you're saying, do all those steps, write it down, replace it, give a compliment, take a compliment, and go from there. Here is one of the tricks I've used in the past to help me with my body shaming. What you do is you get a rubber band, and every time you catch yourself saying something, you snap it. And you snap it pretty good so that it can remind you to switch your thinking and change your thoughts. Now psychologists actually tell people to use this method and it is actually quite effective you just once you think about it you snap it that hurts and then you go okay yeah and switch the thinking immediately say it out loud do what you need to do and that's it if you found value in this video please click the like button below if you want to learn how to fit into your jeans get your sexy back and find your happy please Hit the subscribe button if you already haven't done so. I'd be very super grateful and I will keep bringing you these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Do it more than we realize we